What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 8FM. Chapter 189 The Fur Race Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket. It's such a big elephant, it's simply unimaginable, and how to get up to this kind of place. Nami and the others looked at the huge elephant and couldn't understand it. In fact, normal people really don't know how to climb up when they meet the elephant owner. Some pirates who offer a reward of over 100 million are also very difficult to climb up. After all, it is too big. And if you are accidentally stepped on by the elephant master, the consequences will be fun. The strength of this elephant master's kick is definitely no less than the power of a four emperor's move. Actually, there is a device above Zo that can hoist the boat up, but you need to contact someone above to let the boat go up. Kazuki Hiori didn't know what to do either, but she learned how from other people. It doesn't need to be so troublesome, we can just go up directly. Luo Ning activated his ability as he spoke, and several ships flew up just like that. In fact, there was no need for escort ships. Although there are quite a few stunned youths in the new world, few stunned youths dared to attack people who impel down. And there is Luo Ning on board, whoever strikes will die, it's as simple as that, so there is no need for an escort ship, but in this situation, it is impossible to leave the escort ship, after all, the escort ship is a matter of face. So a few escort ships also came, but now the ships are all sent to midair, flying towards the top continuously. Soon it came to the back of the elephant owner, and the boat landed directly on the soil, and Luo Ning made some fixes to prevent the boat from being washed away later. After all, the elephant owner took a bath every once in a while, so it there is a probability that this amount of bath water will wash the ship directly down from here. Going down from this height, the ship will be useless. As for the people on it, they basically don't want to live, unless they are monsters with very strong physique, such as Kaido and the like. After they boarded Zo, they were quickly discovered by the people on Zo, and then the people of Zhao's fur tribe also came here quickly, because this time there was Kazuki Hiori. This time, Mobamushi and Anuarishi did not engage in civil war, nor did they care about the king of night and the king of day, but they all rushed over. In this regard, Luo Ning also wanted to complain that he was really insane. He hadn't resolved this kind of infighting even in the face of the genocide crisis. As a result, now that the people from Wanokuni have come, these guys don't care about it. In fact, in Zolu, even news birds can't get up there. There's no way, the elephant owner is too tall, and the news birds are sent to islands with fixed roots. The elephant owner is still running around. Newsbird wants to find neither could be found. So that the news is so stuffy, now these guys don't know that Wanokuni has been saved. After Kazuki Hiori told them a series of things, Anuarishi and Maomashir ran up to Luo Ning, knelt down, and came to the doge seat. Thank you so much for saving Wanokuni, it's great that Wanokuni is okay. Anuarishi and Maomashir are also quite helpless. After what happened that year, they didn't think about revenge, but how could they fight Kaido? Why should they fight Kaido? Even if they were in moon lion form, they would give it away. Facing four emperors like Kaido, their transformation is useless at all. I was huddled here to wait for Momonosuke, but now Momonosuke did not wait, but Kazuki Hiori, and the Wanokuni matter was settled, and now Kazuki Hiori is Wanokuni's general, and is reorganizing Wanokuni. All of this was like a dream, which made them stunned, but they are also very grateful to Luo Ning now, because Luo Ning's existence made everything turn into what it is now. Advertisement. And the most important thing is that Luo Ning did not occupy Wanokuni, but gave Wanokuni to Kazuki Hiori. Although it seems that the two may get together, if Kazuki Hiori gets married, then the general will naturally change. So in their view, Luo Ning is thankless, but he just did this. No wonder they were not grateful. Can you stop kneeling and kowtowing every now and then? I'm not used to it. Looking at the cat and dog in front of him, even if he is kneeling on the ground, he is taller than Luo Ning. Luo Ning is helpless, of course, the height of this pirate world is really weird, but fortunately, these girls he finds are very few there are particularly huge ones, and even Shirahoshi is shrunk by Luo Ning's ability. It's like the Lord is pouring water on himself, just like an elephant. I have to say that this elephant master is really big, big and terrifying. But her goal is not this, but for the historical text. They are not in the building now, and it is basically impossible to escape this kind of water outside. In this way, there is nothing to worry about. After Inulin and Cad Viper thanked them, they prepared a very rich food. During the preparation, the flood of Shangzu directly came down, but fortunately, Luo Ning directly blocked the water with Reiatsu, otherwise it would have been really difficult. All wet. She feels that she has a certain understanding of the weather in New World, but now it seems that she is still too young. Forget it, you can figure it out yourself. Robin also spoke, this is indeed a long insight, but he has never thought of such a thing before. Quote dot dot dot. Anyway, you helped me by helping Wanokuni. Where did such a large amount of water come from, young man? Luo Ning didn't bother to care, since these guys had their own customs, he didn't bother to care, anyway, it wasn't him who suffered. Nami and others are a little confused. Is the weather in this place so weird? Isn't it on the elephant's good back? Why is it so strange? As a navigator, Nami's whole body is not good, which is completely beyond himself category of understanding. Cat Viper and Inulin said in unison, no matter what, they must thank Luo Ning. But Nehi has no power, 
so he can only wait for the time for Madam's prophecy to arrive, but now it seems that Madam's prophecy is not completely correct, but such mistakes are what we all hope to see. There is such a large amount of water in the water. No wonder the boat needs to be fixed just now. If it is not fixed, the boat will probably be washed away directly. It is really insightful. No, this is my apology. When Master Odin sacrificed his life to save us, our life is already Master Odin's. We have always wanted to overthrow Kaido. Luo Ning reminded them, and then Nami and others were speechless. They thought it was some abnormal weather, but they didn't expect it to be like this. Chapter 190 Communication as the Lord Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket As Wanokuni's benefactor, he is also Zou's benefactor, so Robin didn't stop anyone who wanted to read the main text of the history. For them, this is actually not a big problem. To be honest, Luo Ning really has no feeling for this kind of thing, even for the final land. As for the text of the coordinate history, he is not interested at all, and let Robin read it by himself. Luo Ning himself swayed on the back of the elephant owner. To be honest, he was also very interested in the owner, so he tried to communicate with the elephant owner. The voice made by the elephant owner can only be heard by certain people. This has nothing to do with the realm of knowledge, after all, Momonosuke doesn't move observation hockey. This can only be said to be something hidden in the blood, so both of them can hear the voice of the lord. It is estimated that this kind of thing is also related to the D family, so now Luo Ning directly contacted the elephant owner through the soul. Elephant lord, can you hear me? After communicating with the elephant master's soul, Luo Ning passed his voice over. At this moment, he could clearly feel the elephant master's body suddenly stagnant, and the vibration was directly transmitted to the kingdom on his back. Who are you? Why can you communicate with me? 190 The elephant master's huge roar came, this is a special sound, unless it is a person with special blood, other people can't hear the elephant master's voice at all. The voice of Shangzu is indeed very loud, but it will not affect Luo Ning very much. Luo Ning's spirit is much stronger than Luffy and Momonosuke. Although this kind of voice is extremely loud, it can be heard by Luo Ning's ears. Cut it down. I'm on your back, my name is Luo Ning, Lord Elephant, where did you come from? Was it that huge kingdom? Luo Ning asked curiously, the identity of the elephant owner is very special, why it has such a huge body, why there is a country on its back, and there is a piece of historical text here. How do you know? The elephant lord was also a little puzzled. It did come out of a huge kingdom, but why would Luo Ning know about this? You must know that the lifespan of human beings is different from that of the elephant lord. After so many years, the original huge kingdom has long since become history. I know it from some murals, but what I know is not very clear. I want you to tell me what kind of existence the huge kingdom was like back then, and what happened back then. Now that I have communicated with the elephant owner, it is natural to figure out what is going on. After all, communicating with the elephant owner is only interesting. Do you want to know? Then tell you. It is also rare for the elephant owner to meet someone who can communicate with him, so he told Luo Ning what he knew about the huge kingdom. The huge kingdom, that is, the highest authority before the world government, this is a very terrifying huge kingdom, the elephant owner is naturally one of them, the elephant owner does not know what is going on with him, but since he was born, he has a very huge advertisement. It has always lived in the great kingdom, is also a member of the great kingdom, and is regarded as a type of guardian beast. But then something happened. The huge kingdom included many races at that time, and there were also many ambitious people in the huge kingdom that had developed to its peak. The original huge kingdom was also researching some special things, among which there are two kinds of Pluton and Uranus. As for Uranus, I learned from the Elephant Master that it is an extremely terrifying weapon. After researching it, it was immediately sealed up. As for what kind of existence it is, the Elephant Master is not very clear. It only knows this thing very dangerous. It only knows that it is loyal to the huge kingdom, so it has been guarding the fur tribe on its back after leaving, and the things that the fur tribe guards are also the so-called coordinates. This series of questions cannot be answered by the Elephant Master, because although it is a member of the huge kingdom, it is just an elephant, no matter how huge its size is, it cannot know such things. And every use requires CBBH to pay a huge price, which made the huge kingdom at that time directly block it, not allowing anyone to use the power of Uranus. At that time, I don't know how many people died. As for the elephant owner, he also left the giant kingdom under the order of the emperor of the last giant kingdom, and then slowly evolved to today. Luo Ning is a little curious about what this price is, and why the world government wants to completely destroy history. What have they done in the past hundred years? It will make the world government fear until today, and what is the cost of launching Uranus? Even Pluton, according to the Elephant Master, has not been sealed, but the manufacturing method is temporarily sealed, and too many Plutons are not allowed to be produced. So what about Uranus? What are the activation conditions? Why should it be directly sealed? Until there was an accident in the Great Kingdom, the change in the Great Kingdom was composed of 20 dignitaries within the Kingdom. They were dissatisfied with their rights and felt that they should rule the Great Kingdom, so they launched a war at that time. And at the beginning, the Elephant Master also received a lot of favors from the other party, so the Master will obey the people with special power in Wanokuni. Pluton is a huge ship with the power to blow up an island with one shot, but because of its huge power, the manufacture of Pluton was directly banned after the first Pluton was manufactured. And took away Uranus, and launched Uranus. At that time, Pluton was destroyed by Uranus. Although the people of the royal family of the great king had been fighting against it, they could not cope with the impact of Uranus. 
As for the relationship between Wanokuni and them, it seems that the people of Wanokuni also had a high status in the huge kingdom. To be honest, now that Luo Ning's curiosity has been hooked, he is really curious about what happened to the huge kingdom back then. Uranus was created by the Great Kingdom, but it was sealed up because of the high cost of use. So the question is, what is the cost? These people can hear its voice, but it is a pity that it is Momonosuke who met in the original book. To be honest, I can only say that Shangzu is really sad. It is really difficult to find a few leaders of Wanokuni. Reliable to come. Uranus was so powerful that even Pluton was no match, so in the end, these twenty families destroyed the Great Kingdom. Why do you want to prevent others from studying what you are even after 800 years? Chapter 191 The Secret of the Final Land Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket What are the coordinates on your back? Luo Ning asked again, this thing should be useful. The location indicated by the coordinates on my back is the location of the giant kingdom, the location of the giant kingdom, it is very secret, and the surrounding environment is very harsh, it is not easy to find it. The elephant lord answered, strictly speaking, the coordinates indicate a route, this huge kingdom is located above the sea, it is not because it cannot be found, but because there are terrible natural dangers around the huge kingdom. Climate change is much more terrifying than the general climate change in New World, which is like the triangle formed by Impel Down, Naval Headquarters and Eni's Lobby, and these locations can be easily reached through the Gate of Justice. But if you go to other locations, you will find that there are huge vortexes around, and the ships can't get through at all. The result of going there is that they are directly sucked into the bottom of the sea and buried in the bottom of the sea. So when Luffy and the others fled, they had to escape from the Gate of Justice, and they couldn't escape from the side. This is a safe route, and the four coordinates are finally linked together. In addition to giving the coordinates of the huge kingdom, there is also the only safe route, which is why it is necessary to obtain all the coordinates to find the final place. If you can't translate all the coordinates, then you won't be able to get the complete coordinates and route. If you don't have a complete route, then entering that kind of place, the final result is only one way, which is death. The final place is the location of the huge kingdom, or the site of the ruins. The four coordinates are also very important to ordinary people, and I heard from the elephant master that when he rushed out, he also suffered a lot. His reminder did not come from the safest place, but rushed out directly. In that place, apart from the terrifying vortex suction in the sea, there are any tornadoes and lightning in the sky, which can be said to be completely terrifying. He had to suffer a lot before rushing out, and he rested for a long time after rushing out. At that time, the main body of the elephant was not much smaller than it is now, but even with such a huge body, it could barely rush out, which shows what is going on here. It's really a magical place. I didn't have much interest before, but now I am very interested. To be honest, Luo Ning really wanted to take a look. He thought that the final island was nothing, but now it turned out to be the ruins of the stage kingdom, so he had to take a look. I don't know if it's because no one has talked to him for too long, but Shangzu kept chatting with Luo Ning until dark, explaining a lot about the founding of the country at that time. Master Luo Ning, what happened to you just now? You have been sitting still. After Luo Ning finished talking with the elephant master, the others couldn't help but speak. At first they just thought that Luo Ning was resting, but Luo Ning kept this posture. Even the elephant master remained silent. The water spray twice a day only appeared once, which surprised the fur tribe. After all, these two times have never been interrupted, but now they are interrupted. Now Luo Ning has also fallen into such a strange state, which makes them have to guess that this should have something to do with Luo Ning. It's okay. I just chatted with the elephant owner for a while, maybe because I haven't talked to anyone for a long time, so the elephant owner and I chatted for a little longer. After Luo Ning finished speaking, everyone was dumbfounded. Chat with the elephant owner. How the hell is this? Advertisement. Inulin stuttered and asked, from birth to now, it's not like they haven't tried chatting with the elephant owner, but they couldn't do it at all, okay. But now Luo Ning actually chatted with the elephant owner, and the chat time was not short. I used a special method to communicate with the elephant master through the soul. The voice of the elephant master can only be heard by some special people, so you can't hear it at all. Luo Ning shook his head, which slightly dispelled everyone's curiosity. Then what were you talking about? Robin is very interested. The Elephant Master is simply a living fossil of the stage. It can be said that the Elephant Master is more useful than any historical text, so now Robin is very curious about what is being talked about. I talked about some of the topics you care about the most, the 100 years of blank history, including the establishment of the world government, and the 10 great kingdoms that existed before the world government. And what is the final land? Luo Ning shook his head, lion fruit can fly there, but according to what the Elephant Master said, there are tornadoes and terrifying thunder and lightning everywhere on the sea, and the past is death. This should be why Roger wants to send people to the final place. So unless Luo Ning exists, other people will be sent to work. Others might be able to withstand some lightning and tornadoes, but what about several days in a row? Individuals are also exhausted. Asking for flowers. As for the bottom of the sea, that's even more impossible. There are many powerful creatures in the bottom of the sea. Besides, there are also a lot of huge vortices. It took a lot of effort when the elephant master swam out. As soon as this topic is mentioned, Nami's eyes start to light up. Nami, the little thieves, is not kidding. Open black lens bracket. The ruins of a huge kingdom. Speaking of which, I got some coordinates and roots in the historical text, but these things are not complete. Robin spoke. What is the final land? Are there many treasures in one piece? 
I haven't heard from Lord Elephant about Roger's treasure, but I do know what this final place is. It is the ruins of a huge kingdom, and there should be reasons why the huge kingdom was destroyed. Luo Ning said that he really didn't want to talk about Roger, and he had nothing to say about this psychopath. Of course, it's not complete. The combination of the four pieces will find the coordinates and heading of the final place. Without these things, ships entering that sea area, whether they pass by sea or by air, will basically die, lifeless. Unless there is absolute power to ignore those natural disasters, but on this sea, anyway, Luo Ning feels that no one else can do it except him. The end land really exists, Roger just used everyone's curiosity to arouse the entire era, but the operation is very stupid, anyway Luo Ning doesn't want to talk about this guy. What Luo Ning said was like a bomb going off in the crowd, and everyone looked at Luo Ning. So normal ships want to go in, but in the end there is only one result, and that is to be buried in the sea. Chapter 192 Luo Ning. I want to go, I can. Open black lens bracket subscribe close black lens bracket. Luo Ning did not hide the content of his chat with the elephant owner, there is no need to hide it at all, it must be very interesting to say this kind of thing, of course, people here probably won't spread it, if it spreads out, it will probably be something to play with. I didn't expect the elephant owner to be from this kingdom. Now I'm very curious about the ruins of this huge kingdom, what should I do? A group of people were very curious about this place. After all, what happened back then, Luo Ning said so, and those who were not curious also became curious. Moreover, Wanokuni seemed to have something to do with it back then, and it was also a member of the huge kingdom. So that's aroused people's curiosity even more. I want to go, I can take you there. Luo Ning said with a smile, and immediately everyone looked at the nearby. Wait, don't you need a few coordinates? Did Master Luo Ning already collect the coordinates? Hancock looked at Luo Ning adoringly, Luo Ning felt a little embarrassed. Ahem, not really, I don't have all the coordinates, but I can find the location of the huge kingdom, and what kind of natural disasters do you think can block my power? Luo Ning asked with a smile, the compass in his hand can point directly to the huge kingdom, and then he can pass. As for the waterway, he doesn't need to fear any natural disasters, there is no disaster in this world that can hurt him. So this one can be discarded directly. Now that he has a position, he is not afraid, so it is very simple to enter that kind of place. So we have the opportunity to go to the ruins of the Phase Kingdom. Robin is extremely excited at the moment. After all, you and they have sacrificed too much to pursue a hundred years of blankness. Pursuing the historical text may clarify everything, but what if it is the source? The historical text was created by a huge kingdom. This kind of thing cannot be destroyed at all, and it is extremely hard. So you should be able to see a lot of things directly from the inside of the huge kingdom, and you don't have to keep looking for other things. For the huge kingdom, Robin can't wait to fly directly to it. Then the 100 year blank you are made public. Since everyone wants to go, how about spending a few days in Zo before going? Luo Ning seeks everyone's opinions. Who still wants to play after knowing about the huge kingdom, let's go straight there. Nami said that he has no intention to play here, and the same is true for others, who have no intentions. Even Zo Zanarishi and Nekomushi are curious about the giant kingdom, including the people of Wanokuni, but now they're awkward because they don't know if they can let each other take them there. Many people are curious about this kind of thing, but it's hard to speak up now. Don't look at me like that, I can bring more people when I go, but you can't all go. Luo Ning glanced at the person with curiosity written on his forehead and said, anyway, it's a good thing to bring one, and it's a good thing to bring two. Let's take these people to have a look, but he won't bring everyone. Advertisement. In the end, everyone discussed it, and Kazuki Hiori and the family generals followed, as well as Maomushi and Anuarishi. As for the others, it is not enough. These people will go with the warship. Very well. Then get ready, we will set off tomorrow morning. After Luo Ning finished speaking, the others went to rest obediently. Now they are recharging their energy and energy, and then they will go to see the huge kingdom of the year. It would be a lie to say that they are not excited. As a result, few people fell asleep that night, and some people had dark circles under their eyes the next day. There was no way, this matter itself could not allow them to rest peacefully. All of you are really curious, let's get on the boat and set off to the ruins of the huge kingdom. With an order, all the people who had negotiated before followed them to the warship, and then the warship set off directly. As for the other ships, they were naturally waiting here. With Luo Ning's flying ability, it won't take long to go to the huge kingdom, and most people will stay in it for a while, but it probably won't go anywhere, so they just wait here. In this way, the ship flew towards the direction of the huge kingdom. The speed was amazing. Fortunately, the ship was protected by Reyasu. Now Kazuki Hiori finally knew why Luo Ning was able to get down from Impel so quickly. Come to Wanokuni. This speed is simply outrageous. Well, because of Reyasu's protection, they did not receive the impact of the storm, otherwise the impact would have sent them all directly into the sea. Look ahead, what the hell is this? Soon there was a very terrifying picture in front of everyone's eyes. In the sea area ahead, countless eddies on the sea surface followed one another, and the sea tornado was constantly fluctuating above it, and it was constantly moving. It is impossible to get by. And there is lightning flashing in it, even Nami, who has the ability of thunder fruit, was shocked. In fact, this kind of place can be entered by a single person, but it is undoubtedly a dream to find a huge kingdom in a huge sea area by one person. The most important thing is that it is very difficult for a capable person to come out after entering. 
The tornadoes are all sea water spouts, and the sea water is swept into the air by the water spouts. Ability users can go in, but Logia ability users, such as Thunderfruit ability users like Nami, and Flash Fruit ability users like Kazaru, can go in. It is possible to ignore thunder and lightning, but they cannot ignore sea water. When it touches sea water, the ability will be invalidated instantly and then just wait to play with it. So this is also extremely terrifying for Logia ability users, and it is almost impossible to avoid it perfectly. 3.9 inches what the hell is this place? It's so outrageous. Nami, who is a navigator, said that he has learned a lot again. He thought that the climate change in the new world was outrageous enough. But this position can no longer be called climate change, it is simply a collection of natural disasters. If you go in casually, you will die without life. No wonder you need to find the coordinates and the navigation route before you can go in. If you go in rashly, the consequences will be disastrous. Robin was also covered in cold sweat. It was the first time she had seen such a horrible natural disaster on the sea. Not only her, but the others were also a little pale. The sea area looked really scary. At this moment, everyone suddenly saw a huge sea kings being sucked into this sea area by the vortex. Chapter 193 The Land of Absolute Death Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket The sea kings involved in it were not small in size. After being pulled in by the vortex, the giant sea kings also wanted to run out, but the vortex was too big, and the pulling force made it impossible for the giant sea kings to break free. In the end, coupled with the pulling force generated by other surrounding vortices, the huge sea kings was directly sucked in, and then the sea tornado rolled it into the air, and such a huge sea kings was just swept into the air. Forget it, because the tornado rotated in different directions, the body of the giant sea kings was crushed in an instant, and then the thunder in the sky bombarded it, and under the series of blows, the giant sea kings was directly blasted into a large amount of coke. Immediately afterwards, under the power of the tornado, it directly turned into a pile of debris, and finally disappeared until it disappeared. Dead, there is no whole body left. A group of people looked at the scene in front of them in shock. They were really shocked. Although it was not difficult for them to kill such a big sea kings, it was a direct blow to the ashes. It's easy to kill, but the ashes are given to you. Anyway, they are really shocked by this operation. No matter how you look at it, you can't enter this kind of place, people will die. At this moment, Nami was so frightened that he didn't know what to say. Even Nami who ate the thunder fruit still couldn't bear the shock. The same was true for the others, and their expressions were more or less abnormal. This place can be called a place of absolute death, but it's not a big problem, everyone, be mentally prepared, we're leaving. Luo Ning glanced at the terrified crowd with some amusement, and then directly controlled the boat and flew in. No, a group of people were scared and at a loss, but after the boat entered, they found that they were not struck by lightning, nor were they blown into a pair of pieces by the tornado, and the boat just passed through these things. Completely ignore everything in the outside world, as if everything is false. In front of the ship, the tornado was directly smashed and cut off at the middle. As for the thunder and lightning, there was no reaction at all when it struck the outer protective cover. That's good, it's amazing, it's really blocked all of them. Seeing that these things can't hurt themselves and others, everyone is a little excited. It's really hard to imagine how Roger and the others passed this kind of place. Afterwards, the others couldn't help but think of Roger the One Piece, and the other party did indeed pass through here. Are you just playing around with the roots and coordinates? Roots and coordinates are the things that allow people to enter the ruins of the huge kingdom intact. Otherwise, the final place would have been found long ago. How could it be possible that only so few people have been there for so many years? Luo Ning shook his head. This is the role of coordinates and waterways. It is precisely because of the horror of this sea area that other people can't find it at all. Otherwise, with a large enough force, after so many years, the final place it has already been dug out. Although the sea is indeed huge, don't forget that there are too many capable people in this world. Why hasn't anyone found the final place for so many years? Unless you can get in the coordinates and the waterway, it's because of the natural danger outside, otherwise people would have gone in and found it. It's true, it's not surprising. Everyone no longer entangled with these, and then the ship continued to fly forward, and the road continued to pass in the direction of the pointer. Advertisement. With this pointer, nothing in this world can hinder Luo Ning. However, this sea area is indeed quite large. After flying for about 10 minutes, Luo Ning finally arrived at his destination. Based on the flight time of more than 10 minutes, this sea of disasters is really astonishing. I don't know whether it was formed naturally or by a huge kingdom. To be honest, Luo Ning does not believe that this thing will be formed naturally. Of. What's going on here? Why did the weather change as soon as I entered here? After entering here, everyone saw the change in the sky. Obviously next to it is the extremely dark and boundless lightning tornado disaster area. But after entering here, there are no dark clouds in the sky, and no disaster can spread, just like Xanadu Genichi. It seems that some of the technological level of the kingdom is not low at this stage. After taking a look, Luo Ning said, anyway, it was either created by a capable person, or it was a special technology. The technology of One Piece World is not one star and a half, so it is understandable to come up with any black technology. The Devil Oz, I see, no wonder there is such a huge body. After comparing the skeletons, Luo Ning thinks that they must be the demon clan, and only this clan has such a large body size, so the demon clan also came from the huge kingdom. And there are quite a few of them. 
This is the skeleton of our fur tribe. When I entered it, I found a lot of skeletons. The size of these skeletons is much larger than the titans I saw now. The titans are at most 10 or 20 meters long, but the size of the skeletons alone is estimated to be larger than that of ordinary titans. Three times. With the continuous entry, the number of bones on the ground began to increase, which meant that more and more people died. Luo Ning drove the boat directly, and then directly entered the wall. The closer they got, the more people discovered something. These bones are so big, they feel even bigger than the titans. The front should be the location of the huge kingdom, this huge city wall really is worthy of the huge kingdom. 147 inches it's a bit like a devil. The devil Oz still has descendants in the Whitebeard Kingdom. His body is indeed much larger than the average titan. Looking ahead, there is a huge city on the island that looks like a mainland. Although it is a bit vicissitudes and old, and even the walls have been broken in many places, this should be the location of the huge kingdom. Let's go, if you want to know what happened here, you need to go in and see what's going on. Soon Cat Viper and the others also found the skeletons of the fur tribe. The human skeletons of the fur tribe are somewhat different from humans, and they are still very recognizable. After speaking, Luo Ning led the crowd to move on. Not only human-like skeletons, but also other skeletons, and there are also normal human-sized skeletons. There are too many. What happened here? These hubs have survived to the present day. Everyone also remembered the existence of Oz, and the body is indeed very huge. Let's go. Go and have a look. Chapter 194 The Secret of the Wonders of the World Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket Robin, it seems that you need to come, and see what is recorded here. Soon, Everyone discovered some characters engraved on the stone, which were ancient characters, and only Robin could read them here. It's indeed an ancient text, and it was engraved temporarily. I was a little confused, and the opening chapter also explained that the huge kingdom suffered drastic changes. In order to prevent the documents left on the paper from being destroyed, the people here carved it on the stone wall. Above. These stone walls are all rocks used to make historical texts. They are extremely hard and cannot be destroyed. Even the lettering uses special tools. It is really unbelievable that there are so many raw materials for historical texts. Robin looked at the writing on the wall and said, God knows how surprised she is now. As for the above content, it tells about some glorious history of the huge kingdom in the past, and does not record anything that is too important, etc. This is, really incredible. Soon Robin's expression changed. Sister Robin, what did you see and did you say it? The others couldn't understand the text of the history, so they could only wait for Robin to translate it. Now Robin's shocked appearance made them extremely curious, and Nami couldn't help urging them. It is recorded on it that the so-called miracles in this world, do you still remember? The existence of Upside Down Mountain, Sky Island, the Tree Island in Sabayati, the Fishman Island, etc., are all the fruits of a huge kingdom. The Upside Down Mountain was changed by the powerful Direction Fruit Ability user, who changed the direction of the water flow, and completely solidified it in the Upside Down Mountain. In the end, a strange place like the Upside Down Mountain was formed. Sky Island, the Union Fruit Ability directly lifted part of the sea area into the sky, and then solidified the cloud into a special material. This is the origin of Sky Island. The Fishman Island was also sunk directly into the bottom of the sea by people with special fruit abilities, and those bubbles were created in it. The islands formed by the trees of the Sabayati Archipelago, which were born from the fruit of the tree, eventually formed the Sabayati Archipelago. It is unbelievable that these miraculous things are all man-made. After interpreting it, Robin found that these miracles were all man-made, and they were all created by powerful abilities. And the other people were stunned after listening to it. The wonders of this world were actually created by people. Even the rising current is the same. It is caused by the aftermath left after the battle between the two strong men on time. Every time after a while, the aftermath will create that terrifying rising current, but the magnitude of the created is different. It's just different. Robin felt that his eyes were a little sore. If he hadn't come to the kingdom at this stage, who would have thought that these things were actually made by people instead of natural formation, which is simply outrageous to the extreme. How powerful was the huge kingdom back then? This kind of thing could be done, but those who did it were all wiped out. Hancock realized the horror of the extinction of this huge kingdom. How did such a powerful huge kingdom be overthrown? How powerful is the special weapon Uranus obtained by the 20 families back then, and why did the entire huge kingdom become like this? Advertisement. Continue to look for other walls like this, no accidents, since they still have time to record this kind of thing, then there must be other walls like this. After Luo Ning finished speaking, he took everyone to search separately. Although this place is already a ruin, and he didn't sense any life breath, what if there is any special mechanism? Back then, the huge kingdom could create weapons like Pluton and Uranus, so the technology can be set too far. Therefore, to prevent accidents, Luo Ning did not ask people to search separately. He would never do the separate actions in the movie. That is purely giving away people's heads. A group of people searched in the huge kingdom like this, and sure enough, they found another stone wall very quickly. The above record is about the rebels, that is, the original 20 kings. The emotions recorded in this kind of writing really hate these guys. Looking at the text above, Robin started Shikai to read it. This interpretation is about the 20 kings of the world government. The 20 kings are 20 powerful families in the huge kingdom. They have a very large family in the huge kingdom. Power. A huge power is easy to inflate, and they are like this, so they are gradually dissatisfied with their own power. 
And it happened that Uranus appeared at that time. With the appearance of Uranus, they also obtained some information. After knowing that there was such a powerful weapon, the twenty kings united and successfully captured Uranus. Then use Uranus to destroy the huge kingdom. This article talks about the past crimes of the twenty kings. In fact, the family of twenty kings is the most unpopular in this huge kingdom. After all, they emphasize the blood theory, and feel that the lives of other races and their own race are completely paradoxical. They feel that other races can only be their own lowly slaves. So they are not liked by others, and the stage kingdom gradually rejects them. Of course, this is all done by themselves so that many aspects have been affected. But they never thought about whether there was something wrong with them, but blamed it on other people. So in the end they seized the opportunity of the birth of Uranus. Otherwise, with the family power of the twenty kings, although not weak, they would definitely not be able to wipe out the entire huge kingdom. All this originates from Uranus, and there is no record of what Uranus is. It seems that the person who wrote this article is very dissatisfied with the existence of Uranus and the twenty kings. At the end, he kept emphasizing that Uranus should not appear, and that the people of the twenty families had to die. They really have deep resentment. When Robin saw the end, she couldn't stand the vicious curse anymore, seeing how the person who wrote this hates these guys. So I still haven't explained what Uranus is, something that can destroy such a big kingdom, and it's not right for them to seal it up. What is it? I'm really more and more curious. The group's curiosity about Uranus has reached its peak, but now they still need to continue to find clues. Chapter 195 The Secret of Uranus Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket After that, everyone searched again, and found many such rock walls, which recorded many achievements about the huge kingdom, but there were no specific technical records, so there was no way. It would have been nice to leave these things. And there are many stone walls with repetitive content. It can be seen that many people chose to record these things at that time. Maybe they also knew that they could not survive, so they chose to record these things one by one. But because the situation is more urgent, there is no time to discuss it at all. Basically, we just record what comes to mind, so many contents on the stone walls are repeated. Among them, the criticism of the twenty families was the most, which shows how unpopular these twenty families were at the time. I found it. There are a lot of things about Uranus recorded on this piece. Finally, after searching for more than half a day, Luo Ning was impatient, so he took out his compass and pointed it to the rock wall where the information of Uranus was recorded, and finally led everyone to find it. Robin gradually started Shikai to read the content above. The location of Uranus recorded above was born by accident. Scientists at that time were trying to research new and more powerful weapons. In the end, Uranus was born number 3740 by mistake. And after Uranus was born, they found that they couldn't destroy it with their own abilities, even if it was born by accident, and it couldn't be copied, so they sealed Uranus up later. Uranus is a weapon whose specific function is just like its name. It can control various natural disasters. In the face of natural disasters, manpower is limited. Furthermore, the more energy Uranus consumes, the more terrifying the disaster it will create, and even the upper limit completely exceeds their controllable range, and the biggest problem lies in the source of energy. They soon discovered that this energy actually needs to be extracted from the living body, even the human body, but after extraction, the human body will quickly perish. After learning of this result, they regarded Uranus as a weapon for demons, so they all wanted to destroy it, but they couldn't do it. In the end, they had no choice but to block all news about Uranus. Although they had already announced the existence of a super weapon like Uranus, the specific effects were sealed. CBBD, but among the researchers, there are people among the 20 clans, so the news soon spread to the 20 clans. Quote. They started to extract energy regardless, and captured Uranus when the huge kingdom was unawares, and then used the energy to drive Uranus, destroyed the entire cabinet. At that time Uranus formed a huge barrier, and surrounded the kingdom with all the people beyond the twenty tribes. At last, only a huge elephant escaped before the barrier was formed. The rest of the people knew that they were bound to die, so they quickly recorded everything they could save on the rock wall. After Robin finished reading, he was also silent. He didn't expect that the giant kingdom came to this point because of an uncontrollable invention of his own, and the power to activate Uranus was obtained from the living body after all. And the most suitable ones are actually humans, but once this energy is taken away, humans will die quickly. This series of records made Robin's brain a little bit overwhelmed. Advertisement. This can explain, I have always been curious, why the world government is so afraid of this period of history. No matter how disgraceful things like history are, there are many disgraceful things that the world government has done now. They are not afraid of such things. Why are they afraid that someone will turn a blank hundred years how about history? Now it seems that it is because of Uranus, because the energy that Uranus needs is provided by human beings, and the world government has done a lot of killings in order to recharge Uranus for an estimated 100 years. Luo Ning finally understands that because of fear, people will choose to unite, and in the end it will directly shake the foundation of the world government, because no one wants to be nourishment. When energy is used by man as a weapon. Once this kind of news is exposed, the consequences for the world government will not be much better. No one wants to be killed. When Uranus was launched, it enveloped the entire huge kingdom, and people had to be locked inside to kill them, which meant that they couldn't be killed directly. Everyone also breathed a sigh of relief thinking of the scene when Luo Ning brought them here, all natural disasters are nothing to Luo Ning, it can't have any effect on him at all. 
Luo Ning shook his head, Uranus seemed to be really strong, but no matter how much he robbed, now Luo Ning didn't care about these things. So with Luo Ning here, they feel at ease now. Everyone couldn't help but think of the description of Uranus. The natural disaster was too terrifying, and it was so powerful that the country was directly encircled and suppressed. Only a very small number of people who were not in the country escaped. It was simply terrifying. Although the world government holds Uranus, this thing cannot kill him. Judging from the power recorded above, it didn't destroy everything in an instant, and it couldn't even destroy most of the lives. Moreover, Luo Ning surpassed many grades in this world, which meant that it was difficult for this kind of thing to have any effect on him. Wonderful if that's the case. But once the matter of Uranus is exposed and everyone is in danger, those who have such weapons will be attacked by the crowd. It turns out that the world government is so maddened to this extent, but we also have some big problems now. Uranus is so powerful, then the next revolutionary army will fight against them, and the end will not be good, and we will be there. But it is not the opponent of Luo Ning, so in comparison, this thing is completely useless to Luo Ning, and the ability of the visionary makes Luo Ning almost omnipotent. No, you have forgotten that there is me. Indeed, Uranus's abilities are very strong, but they are not so strong that they are beyond incomprehensible. Under such circumstances, this thing lasts for a long time, and its power should not be enough to directly kill a strong enough existence, although the powerhouses in the giant kingdom period seem to be stronger than those top powerhouses now. That's why they tried every means to block these messages. No matter how messy the world government was before, it would not blindly carry out massacres. Chapter 196 Morgan's Trembling with Excitement Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket The huge kingdom has seen almost everything that should be seen. It's a pity that such a big kingdom is gone. From the records, the huge kingdom accommodates all races. Here, all races can live happily together without worrying about anything, but there are always some people who want to be superior to others, and it finally became what it is now. The people in the huge kingdom are also too comfortable and have no external enemies, which leads to big problems inside themselves. As the so-called internal and external troubles, if there are no external troubles, there will be big internal problems. This is almost an inevitable result after a certain period of development. It can only be said that human beings' bad roots are the same in any world. Some people like rights, some people like peace, and each is different. People like Luo Ning just find it troublesome and occupy a space by themselves, as long as their fists are big enough, he will not participate in anything else. With absolute deterrence, no one dares to touch him, but to be honest, as time goes on, he may still be targeted, even though the revolutionary army is doing well now, it will develop for decades hundreds of years later, God knows what it will be like. People cannot control the thinking of others, and no matter how long civilization lasts, without some special factors, it will eventually disintegrate from within. Of course, that is something that will happen in the future, at least now the revolutionary army and the like dare not do anything to Luo Ning. Now Luo Ning is so strong, let alone in the future, so there is no need to worry about these problems. Luo Ning directly took away all the rock walls here, and directly recorded the truth of the huge kingdom down. What he has to do is very simple, completely disintegrate the era of great pirates, and hit the world government by the way, no surprises, the revolutionary army should soon have a decisive battle with the world government. At that time, he will definitely participate. Now the world government is the enemy, so there is no need to save any face for the other party. He will hand over these things to Morgans together with the translated version. After recording everything here, everyone left the island directly. Everyone was not reluctant. After all, this is just a ruins, Nami is a little sick, and has been thinking about Roger lying. After all, no treasure was found on this island. At that stage, the kingdom's treasures were all removed by the twenty kings of the world government. How could it be left behind? As for Roger, the D-Clan was the real leader of the huge kingdom back then, so he was naturally unwilling to reconcile, and used his name as the One Piece King and the name of the final land to attract pirates to go to sea to find the huge kingdom. When the huge kingdom is fully exposed, it will indeed cause some turmoil to the world government. But Roger took it for granted, he didn't care about the consequences, but over the years, how many people have come here? And even if they came here, what would be the final result? He didn't think about it either. He, the One Piece, came here and knew the truth here, but he didn't announce it. Why? Because few people know about it, and they don't know the fishing boat. Even if it is announced, who would believe a pirate's words? Roger has been cheating people, others, and himself from the beginning to the end. Advertisement. Now Luo Ning is different, Luo Ning holds the largest fishing group in the world. As early as when he planned to announce it, Luo Ning had already contacted Morgans and asked him to go to Zowu to meet with him. Although he had to wait for a few days, Morgans finally brought people to Zao's side quickly. After seeing the things Luo Ning gave him, Morgans almost went crazy. No way, this news is bigger than ever before. The secret of Uranus, the blank hundred years, can be said to be the weakness of the world government. In this case, if he doesn't release it, is it still big news? Although the existence of the blank hundred years is a secret, it is not unknown to everyone, and some people realize that the history before the world government is almost completely blank, with nothing. Isn't he just for enough news? Now these things have been delivered to his door. In short, Morgans can't wait to take a group of people to take pictures of these things, write manuscripts, and then quickly pass these things to various departments. Under the reminder of others, everyone soon realized that this was super big news. There must be some very important news, otherwise it wouldn't be released so frequently. 
Do you remember the previous few times? Uranus also appeared, and this huge kingdom. I didn't expect that Roger saw this, but it's no wonder that this guy will set off the era of great pirates. This guy is a member of the D-Clan. What's going on today? Why are so many news years dispatched together? And the amount of this newspaper is much larger than before. Asking for flowers. It's really big news, so now all the branches are doing well, and they start to pass the newspapers out, and after one batch is finished, another batch will be sent out immediately. Their cognition is from the existence of the world government to the present, but these newspapers have clearly explained the blank history of that 100 years, and the blank 100 years ago. Looking at the description of the D family, Whitebeard also understood why Roger's actions back then caused him to hate the world government to such an extent. So they also spent money to buy newspapers quickly. Father. This. The world government is probably going to go crazy this time. No wonder they have been thinking about the history of the year. It turned out that there was such a weapon hidden, and it turned out to be it was launched with human life. The news this time can be said to be too much, too much, and there are too many things recorded. After Morgan's finished one batch, a second batch came. It lasted for several days, and it took a dozen newspapers to report these things completely done. Although the world government is indeed against them often, but this is normal, well, they are pirates, and a normal person will oppose them, unless they are people who have received their favor, but Roger's hatred for the world government is obviously too high at. The kingdom of Whitebeard, Whitebeard, who became the king, is now living a very prosperous life. The development of their kingdom is quite good. The most important thing is that no one dares to provoke them, so this is very good. It turns out, it turns out to be the blank hundred years of the world government. Many people have discovered the strangeness of Newsbird. More than a dozen batches of newspapers began to spread crazily over the sea. Chapter 197, The End of the Great Pirate Era Open Black Lens Bracket Subscription Close Black Lens Bracket. Hula, the era of great pirates is finally coming to an end. Roger, the era you created is a useless era after all. Whitebeard himself is not a pirate anymore, and Whitebeard is actually quite unhappy with the chaotic era Roger created. After all, what he is looking for is a stable life, but the sea has been in chaos, and too many monsters have come out. He himself is not afraid, but his children are different. In the Summit War, the reason why he helped launch the era of great pirates again is to put it bluntly, he is taking revenge, revenge on Marine. Because Marine killed his son, his position was completely different from Roger's. Whitebeard at that time was completely a vengeful ghost. The purpose of doing this, besides taking revenge on the world government and Marine, is to help his son divert attention. Others, 147, stared at the final land, world government and Marine, so naturally they wouldn't pay too much attention to his children. Both Whitebeard and Roger have set off this era, but Luo Ning dislikes Roger. Roger's idea of starting the era of the Great Pirate is too big, and he even did not hesitate to abandon his wife and son. Whitebeard is completely different, one of Whitebeard's actions is for revenge, and the other is to protect his own children. Although the two do similar things, Whitebeard's starting point is for his own people. For this alone, Luo Ning is more optimistic about Whitebeard than the fake Roger. What Luo Ning despises the most about Roger is not because of the casualties of civilians, but because of Roger's reason for doing so. The fake big empty reason gives people a sense of emptiness. Luo Ning is very upset anyway that so many people are involved for such unnecessary things. It was also Roger who died, otherwise Luo Ning would definitely send him to the deep sea prison for a lifetime if he was alive. On the other side, Shanks, the only remaining pirate emperor in New World, has a very complicated expression. When he went to the final place, he didn't go with him, but disembarked halfway, so he didn't know what was there, but now the news has ignited everything, which means that the era of great pirates is coming to an end. Shanks, what do you think? This pirate can no longer be a partner. Beckman said, in the current situation, continuing to be a pirate will only become a thorn in everyone's eyes. I know, then follow what we said before and build our own country. After Shanks put the newspaper aside, he also made the final decision. In fact, their preparations were almost done, and they were just waiting for an opportunity. Now, this opportunity came. The era of great pirates is over, and knowing that there is no such thing as treasure, and all this is a scam, those greedy people and the deterrence of impel down naturally dare not mess around. As for the pirates going out to sea, they are currently living in the cracks between several forces, one is the impel down force led by Zephyr, and the other is Marine's force. There are also teams of the Revolutionary Army on the ten sides. After all, Many pirates like to do evil, and apart from liberating these places, the revolutionary army will naturally not let the pirates go. Now that the emperors of the new world have become kings, they also look down on these children. In the cracks of various forces, the living space of pirates is small. After this exposure, the era of great pirates is over. Advertisement. Without the follow-up, the living space of the pirates has been squeezed to the point where it is almost invisible. As the trend of the times, Mr. Luo Ning once again did a very big thing, not only ending the era of great pirates, but most importantly, together with the world government. The world government uses human life to fill the energy of Uranus, and it was a rebel clan at the beginning, which carried out extermination massacres against all races. No wonder they need to hide this century-old history. Every time the Uranus is launched, a lot of people's lives are needed. Back then, their family slaughtered an unknown number of civilians. No one wants to be a member of the massacre. At this moment inside the revolutionary army, Long Yi looked at the newspapers in front of him with surprise. Although there were many, 
they clearly explained the nature of the world government. Back then, the family where the twenty kings belong carried out massacres while concealing the huge kingdom. It took them a lot of time to accumulate the energy that Uranus needed. And there is a more critical point, Uranus needs to be recharged after being activated once. I don't know how many times these guys activated it back then. In short, the existence of Uranus can be said to be a sharp sword hanging over everyone's head, and they are unwilling to see such a thing exist. Those kingdoms should not dare to continue to collude with the world government now. Sabo looked at the newspapers in front of him and said excitedly. No, on the contrary, those rotten kingdoms will still be attached to the world government. Long shook his head, why, isn't this already announced? Sabo was a little confused. Because of enough power, although Uranus needs life to replenish energy, there is one more critical point, that is, Uranus has terrifying power, otherwise it would not have completely destroyed the huge kingdom back then. Therefore, the existence of Uranus is their greatest confidence, and these people are not good things themselves. If necessary, they may directly sacrifice their own citizens to ensure their own safety. Don't worry about jumping over the wall. Betty shook her head, these army commanders have seen these people too thoroughly, and these people can do anything without integrity. Damn rotten kingdom. After listening to Betty's words, Sabo was also a little angry. After joining the revolutionary army, he realized how many dirty things these people were behind, so he has been working hard for 3.6 in the revolutionary army all these years. The thought of how many people would die because of these bastards made Sabo look unhappy. Soon we will overthrow these guys. This time the news is also a clarion call. No one wants to be sacrificed. There will always be smart people. Their actions have already driven themselves to a dead end. Now contact the people lurking in those kingdoms and let them spread the news as much as possible, and then incite chaos. Long said, since we want to make a revolution, we need to mobilize people's hearts, and this news is the best now. At first, those people thought that this kind of thing had nothing to do with them, but now the fire has already burned on their heads, if they don't resist, then they will die, no one wants to wait for death, so this time they can take advantage of it up. Chapter 198 The movement of the world government open black lens bracket subscription close black lens bracket. Damn it, why did these guys suddenly run to the final place? How did this happen? The last piece of coordinate history is clearly in our hands. At this moment, the five elders are all stunned. After someone goes to the final land, they start to collect the coordinate history text. As long as there is one piece in their hands, no one will be able to go there in the future. As for the permanent pointer, they don't worry about it either. To put it bluntly, this thing is useless at all. Even if you follow the pointer, you know where you are going, but you can get through that natural danger. Don't be ridiculous. In order to prevent people from looking for it, the creators of the world government did not leave a good navigation route with coordinates, so the only way is to go through the coordinate history text, but now there is a piece in the hands of the world government. This makes it impossible for others to do anything. But they never expected that Luo Ning would go there and expose everything that was covered in dust. Just when the five elders were in a daze, the door of the inner hall was suddenly opened, and then a figure appeared in front of them. Master Yi, Master Yim, five elders immediately knelt on the ground when they saw the person coming. At this moment, they were covered with cold sweat. Why? Because of the existence of I am, who is I am? The highest authority in the world government. To put it bluntly, the five of them were just five dogs in front of others, but they never expected that I am, who would never leave for half a step, would come out directly and appear in front of the five of them. The blank hundred years has been made public. Now the situation in the sea is no longer something you can control casually. Gather all the forces you can, the final decisive battle is about to begin. The reason why I am came out is also because the foundation of the world government has been completely shaken by this incident, which no longer gives them any chance. Now that they can no longer deceive others, they should use the strongest force to deter them. Back then Uranus could destroy huge kingdoms, so now Uranus can still do the same, destroying any existence that dares to be an enemy of the world government. After hearing I'm's words, the faces of the five elders also changed dramatically. They knew that I'm was going to launch this time himself, so Uranus would also launch without accident. Soon, the five elders conveyed the news to Sora and Akainu respectively, and the two marshals could gather all the power. Are all the forces that can be assembled. It seems that the final battle is coming. Is the world government still standing, or will the world government be replaced by the revolutionary army? I really don't know how to choose. Sora didn't know what was going on with him, he vaguely had the idea that the world government would be replaced. He also read the newspapers, of course. To be honest, he was extremely afraid of things like Uranus, which was hanging over everyone's heads. God knows if the world government will take them to do it together. So even though the empty body is in a high position, the idea that the world government should be replaced and Uranus should be destroyed was born. But now he is still the world commander in chief Kong, so he must obey the orders from above, and Kong ordered all non Marine troops to be summoned. Strictly speaking, Marine is also under his control, but after all, Marine is the most powerful weapon in the hands of the world government, so although Marine is inferior to him, the world commander, Five Elders, is now taking over personally. After receiving the news, Akainu also summoned Marine's top management. Advertisement It's really a big commotion, the world government has such a big commotion this time, it's really troublesome. 
Kazaru was very helpless, at first she was just planning to play fish and fool around, but now, with the situation like this, he, Admiral, dare not say that you will survive, who knows what will happen in this big battle. Sakazuki, are you really planning to bring Marine into battle? You should know what the consequences will be. Although Sengoku has resigned, he still stays at naval headquarters. After all, he has been here all his life and he has regarded it as his own home, and everyone knows that he stepped down with the blame, so there is nothing to stop him. Furthermore, Sengoku itself is a powerful combat force, and Akainu is not stupid enough to drive Sengoku out. But in this situation, once he joins the war, Sengoku doesn't have to think about the consequences, and Marine's background may almost be wiped out. This is an order from the world government, what else do you want? As the loyal dog of the world government, Akainu doesn't care about these things, the order comes down, and the order is executed. You are leading Marine to death, Sengoku said unhappily, and everyone else knew that what Sengoku said was the truth, but the guy in front of him was Akainu, they didn't obey orders, God knows what Akainu would do. The meaning of Marine's existence itself is to obey orders and deal with rebellion, how could there be no sacrifices? Akainu was also directly angry at the moment, and had a direct confrontation with Sengoku. This time, even Suru did not try to persuade her, because she is also very entangled now. With Akainu, there is no doubt that the entire naval headquarters may be consumed, which does not conform to the meaning of Marine's existence. Although the existence of Marine is supported by the world government, 900 is because they exist only to deal with pirates. The revolutionary army has now occupied most of the world, and there are existences like Luo Ning, so Marine will undoubtedly die if he goes there. And to be honest, if you look at it from the perspective of a normal person, it is obvious that the revolutionary army is on the front line, and the world government is now very much in disdain for Crane. But she is a Marine, so she must obey orders, which makes Crane very entangled. What's the point of talking so much nonsense? If Marine really gets involved this time, everyone will know the consequences, basically life or death. Sakazuki, you like to be the dog of the world government, but it doesn't mean God wants to. The meaning of Marine's existence is not to be a dog for others. In the past, Marine has been constantly compromising, and that is something that can't be helped. But this time, we are not facing a group of criminals. The real criminal is the world government. If you are willing to follow Sakazuki, then follow him. If you don't, then stay with me at naval headquarters. I want to see who dares to do it. Garp spoke at this time, as a member of the D family, although he didn't care about the family, he didn't care about the so-called D, but he cared about Marine. He didn't want to see Marine drown in the sea because of this kind of thing, so he stood on the opposite side of Sengoku very simply. Chapter 199 Finale, 7000 Words Combined Chapters Garp stood up, and he was already blamed. In the end, if the revolutionary army wins, then there is no loss for Marine. If the world government wins, then the liquidation of the world government will undoubtedly end Garp directly, and even the rest of Marine. A little bit of sovereignty will also be completely taken away by the world government. But now in comparison, Garp has stood up, and he intends to bear this burden. In his eyes, the probability of winning the world government is not high. Even with something like Uranus, Luo Ning is too heaven-defying, so Garp does not he didn't think world government could win with Uranus, on the contrary he felt that Luo Ning had a better chance. So this time he stood up and resisted this part of the responsibility. Do you know what the consequences of doing this are? Akainu stared at Garp, he really has nothing to do with Garp now. He can't fight now, once there is a fight, he has no one to support him. Others will help Garp instead. He thinks that he is not weaker than Garp now, and even Garp's strength has declined due to his age. But it is not so easy for him to win Garp, the two sides can only use their physical strength, so now Akainu's nose is almost crooked. Of course I know what I'm doing, I don't need you to remind me, Sakazuki, you forgot what the original intention of Marine is. As far as simple soldiers are concerned, Akainu's ability to obey orders is indeed quite qualified, but their marines have always had their own ideas, and it's not as simple as simply being a dog for the world government. The people above committed crimes, and they couldn't arrest them, they could only watch. This kind of marine is undoubtedly extremely aggrieved. What about you? Are you going to go crazy with that old lunatic Garp? Akainu looked at the others. Although not many people dared to look at him, but now that everything has been explained clearly, others really dare not mess around. At least they didn't dare to follow Akainu. At this juncture, no one dared to fight among themselves. Most of the people in Marine obviously planned to be on the sidelines this time, to see what would happen. Okay, very good, very good, I hope you don't become Marine sinners. In the end, Akainu didn't intend to say anything more, but called people who were willing to go with him and walked with him. However, even among the hawks, only a part of them went with him, not all of them. Everyone is a smart person, and the hawks are at most aggressive and ruthless, but that doesn't mean they have no brains. Although Akainu is a representative of the Hawks, it is undoubtedly that the world government is on the unfavorable side now, even with Uranus. And things like Uranus are really a sharp sword hanging over everyone's heads, they really can't help the world government anymore. Oh, Mr. Garp, I didn't expect you to stand up in the end. Looking at Akainu who left sullenly, Kazaru also spoke. As the most tactful person, he was a little surprised that Garp stood up. After all, Garp hasn't been on the bright side for a long time. Since the end of the runaway stage of the Great Pirate Era, although Garp is still Vice Admiral, he has also retreated to the second line. 
Even GARP is not even considered as the second line, unless it is a very important major event, GARP will not intervene at all. Kazaru did not expect that GARP would stand up and take the blame this time. Others said that Kazaru is smooth, but compared to GARP, Kazaru can only be regarded as a younger brother. If the old man doesn't stand up, who else can stand up? You two marine admirals are qualified. Garp rolled his eyes, and this time Kazaru didn't say a word, since Aokiji was injured, his combat strength has been damaged and his prestige has been weakened a lot. This is especially true after Akainu became a commander. Both Aokiji and Kazaru are qualified to stand up, but in terms of deterrence, Garp is undoubtedly the strongest inside Marine. So now Garp can only stand up, he can be regarded as a gamble, and it can be regarded as the last effort for Marine. If Marine joins the battle this time, even if the world government wins in the end, the end will not be so good, because Uranus cannot use it at the beginning, and what about them? Their marine will become cannon fodder, which is not what Garp wants to see. So this time Garp stood up. At least if the world government wins, although they will be subject to certain restrictions, they can still keep the foundation of marine to some extent. Follow along and it will really be gone. Should it be called Vice Admiral Garp? The other marines were blown away by Garp's concept. And what about our undercover over at Impel Down? At this time, Mamasugi finally remembered that there are still a group of people down in Impel. Let them come back if they can. If they continue to stay there, no matter how you look at it, there will be some problems. Garp spoke, and Mamasugi immediately contacted other people, but soon Mamasugi's face became a little bit uneasy. Impel down in order to deal with the power of the world government, Luo Ning personally took action to protect the entire Impel down, and now there is no way to get in and out. Mamasugi said helplessly that Luo Ning used Uranus to attack Impel down in order to prevent the world government from jumping over the wall. Although Impel down was temporarily blocked, in this way, other people would have nothing to do with them. That's fine. In fact, it's useless to let them come out just now. The two gates of justice are under their control, and they can't go out at all. He also opened his mouth, these marine undercover agents in the past can't get out at all. Forget it, let's take care of ourselves now. After Garp finished speaking, he stopped talking nonsense, and naval headquarters also entered a state of full alert. Although they know that the world government should not be so stupid as to attack themselves without fighting with each other this time, they still have to be on guard. Who knows if these guys will go crazy. So this time they have to watch just a little. On the other side, after Akainu passed on the news, Sora also heaved a sigh of relief. To be honest, he was a little reluctant to get Marine involved. As for the five elders, they were depressed for a while, but there was nothing they could do with Marine, they had no choice now. Don't worry about Marine, wait until the end to settle with Marine, and deal with those guys in front of you first. I am didn't bother to care about Marine either. In his opinion, as long as he won, Marine could handle whatever he wanted afterwards, so there was no need to waste time on Marine now. Now their main targets are the Revolutionary Army and Ronin. At this moment, Uranus is ready, and all soldiers have gathered at the Holy Land Mariajoy. The army of the world government was assembled. The revolutionary army and Luo Ning had no intention of putting the battlefield on their own territory, so they came directly to Mariajoy. Unexpectedly, the revolution that was originally expected to be impossible to complete in the next few decades, under your influence, was actually sent to world government 22 so much earlier. Looking at the red line who was close at hand, Long felt a little emotional. According to her calculations, it would take too much time for the revolution to succeed. This world will always be the world of the strong. If you want to defeat the world booster, you must have absolute strength or the support of everyone. He has nothing to do with the former, because they have no way to compete with the world government, so he can only choose another way, that is, the public, as long as no one recognizes the world government, no matter how awesome you are, no one will pay attention to you. But the latter takes too long, too long, and there must be no accidents during the period, so the situation of the revolutionary army can be described as extremely sad. But after having Luo Ning, the time has been shortened to such a degree, and now it is even more direct to start the war. In fact, Long himself knows best that the revolutionary army is fighting the world government head-on, which is tantamount to courting death. But now that Luo Ning is here, Luo Ning alone is equivalent to a huge force. This time, Luo Ning did not let Fujitora and others come over, but let them continue to stare at the movement of the sea. After all, Yamanaka has no tigers, and monkeys dominate. Now that two tigers are fighting, God knows what Yuki snake god will come out. Therefore, Fujitora and others, including Garp and others, are all watching the movement on the sea. If anyone dares to mess around, they will do it directly, and the marines in each branch are also watching all the time. At this time, the role of marine is manifested, which is why no force can leave marine. Marine is a very important organization. The manpower, material resources and time needed to form such a huge organization are terrifying. Therefore, marine must be retained, which is an essential element for maintaining relative stability. At this moment, Morgans has sent a large number of news birds and personnel to shoot here, and the live broadcast pictures are constantly spreading like flowers everywhere. This battle is the one that lays the groundwork for the future, and it is much more terrifying than the summit war. The world government and Luo Ning will definitely have an end this time. As for the revolutionary army, it is not that Morgans looks down on the revolutionary army, but because of these two forces under these conditions, the revolutionary army seemed very weak, and they were just a group of managers. After the world government is gone, this world still needs a group of managers, and Long and others are such managers. 
so basically not many people pay attention to them now. Meteor Volcano. Just when everyone came to the red line, suddenly streams of magma fell from the sky. As this a meeting ceremony, this guy Akainu is as grumpy as ever. Seeing this scene, everyone knew that this was Akainu's move, and Luo Ning didn't make a move. The dragon controlled the strong wind and swept the world, directly intercepting Akainu's big move. At the same time, a lot of guys in black suits popped up around, and there were a few scattered guys in white suits among them. It's from the CP organization, and these guys have also come out. Ivankov said that he knew these agents quite well, or he didn't want to know. Especially the people from CP9, the people from other secret service organizations are very mediocre, and the people from CP9 have also been poached by Luo Ning. The most difficult thing left now is undoubtedly the people from CPO. The people in CPO are the elite among the elites, most of them have naval headquarters vice admiral combat power, and a few of them are even close to admiral combat power. Such a battle force cannot be underestimated. The war has begun. After Long left a word, he disappeared directly in place, and he had already killed these people at this moment. In this kind of war, you will die from the beginning. In short, you are fighting for your life. There are not many top marines, so this is also good news for the revolutionary army. Although they hope that Luo Ning can help them and others, but in this situation, they also know that they can't rely on Luo Ning for everything, if they don't establish a little prestige. How to manage the world after that? The concept of the revolutionary army is similar to that of the world government. There are too many countries in this world. It is too difficult to completely deal with these countries, so they can only find a way to replace the position of the world government. As long as the world government is gone, they can control the overall situation. This is not a simple matter, and it is not something that can be done completely by relying on others. If you rely entirely on Luo Ning now, those kings probably will not give them any responsibility in the future. What a little face. So, what to do now is very simple, show your fist strength and tell everyone that your strength is strong enough to rule these countries. In fact, as far as the country of One Piece is concerned, there is only one warm-up guy in the original book, which is a bit dangerous. Let that guy continue to warm up, and his attacks will become stronger and stronger. Of course, this warm-up time is enough for others to kill him, and it takes too long to charge up. Besides, apart from Whitebeard and others at this stage, there are not many kings in the original books who are powerful. Even if there is, it's not very powerful, so they show a hard enough fist now, and they can deter those guys in the future. The war was about to break out. Although the revolutionary army was at a disadvantage this time, it was not too disadvantaged. After all, this time Marine did not dispatch all its members. The one who came was Akainu who brought a few people. In this battle, even Vice Admiral became high-level cannon fodder. To be honest, the hammer Vice Admiral of the top powerhouse is really accurate with one hammer. On the basic battle side, the revolutionary army completely rubbed the people on the world government side on the ground. Why is this? Naturally, it also makes sense. Betty's existence is very important to the basic battle. It's too buggy. An ordinary person can beat a guy who has a reward of tens of millions. Although the other party may be a little watery, it is at least tens of millions. These trained soldiers are even more powerful in battle. Under Betty's ability to encourage fruit, the enemy can be said to be beaten miserably. In addition, there is a bear protecting Betty beside Betty. The bear's ability is very bug. His existence does not need to completely kill the enemies close to Betty. Advertisement. Just take the shot and you're done. If you don't need to kill, the bear is basically invincible if you stop here. Unless you can kill the bear in seconds, you won't be able to get close to Betty. As for Betty, she is using her abilities unscrupulously. The high level side is at a disadvantage, but the bottom level combat power is indeed fighting one-sidedly. In the end, Akainu couldn't help but left the battle group and rushed towards the bottom battle force. Don't think about it. The dragon who knew what Akainu was going to do naturally wouldn't look at it, and a tornado directly swept Akainu back. As for Sora, he was releasing water, and he had a fight with the s asterisk 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 e king and others. Yes, Allah, the fight was really fierce. Just when the scene was at a stalemate, Radao's golden figure appeared here. Poor Salino. After seeing Kazaru, Akainu was startled, and then cried out in surprise. Well, Marshal Sakazuki, don't call someone so casually. Speaking of which, I'm not here to help you this time. As soon as Kazaru finished speaking, he kicked towards Akainu at a fast speed, and this kick directly blinded Akainu. Poor Salino, what the hell are you doing? Akainu was completely confused. I'm sorry, I was from this side from the beginning. After Kazaru finished speaking, the massacre started directly. With his speed and attack, he broke the balance with his own strength after joining the battlefield. Damn Pelusalino. Akainu who saw this scene was also very angry. This B asterisk 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 D turned out to be a member of the revolutionary army and had been lurking in naval headquarters. In fact, this is quite normal, after all, he is Monkey D. Kazaru, Luffy's second uncle, even though Luffy hammered the celestial dragons, he still completely ignored the. Luffy was released. It was the same during the summit war, it seemed to kill Luffy, but Luffy was saved. As the second uncle, it is definitely necessary to protect his eldest nephew. It can only be said that acting as an ape is worthy of acting as an ape. Just when the battle was entering a fierce stage, suddenly a beam of light shot up from the core of Mariajoy, and then formed a huge protective shield to enclose Mariajoy and. Separated from the outside world. 
This partition only enveloped the celestial dragons, five elders and a small group of people. As for the rest of the people who were fighting, they, did not enter the shield. Immediately afterwards, dark clouds began to cover the sky, thunder and lightning kept flickering, and strong winds blew. Damn it, five elders, what the hell is going on? Akainu, who saw this scene, was stunned, and then looked in the direction of five elders with an unbelievable expression. Lord I am is impatient, you are too weak to defeat a strong enemy, so Lord I am intends to do it yourself, as for you, sacrifice for the world government. It should be, one of the five elders said very calmly, completely ignoring that these were the ones with relatively strong combat effectiveness among the few of them. In fact, if the world government really sacrificed so many people in this wave, the consequences would not be so good. But five elders and I am don't care, as long as they rule the sea again, then everything is easy, isn't it? As for the others, they can be completely ignored. The batch of dog legs are gone, and you can get another batch later. In short, people from their world government have never been afraid of this kind of thing. Damn it, Akainu's pupils shrank suddenly at this moment, he is not an idiot, so he naturally knew what was going on, and he became it himself. Quote dot dot dot. Oh, it looks like the situation is very bad, Marshal Sakazuki, do you want to continue fighting? Kazaru asked, Akainu has always been adhering to the idea of killing the enemy even if he is the victim himself. Now that he has become the victim, what is his idea? What is it then? In fact, Akainu is very angry now, but what can he say? Now he has finally experienced what it means to be an abandoned child, and he himself will become a victim one day. When he became a victim, Akainu no longer had such awareness. Akainu's awareness has always been based on fighting pirates, but he dare not deal with criminals. At that time, if the people who attacked his house were celestial dragons, this product would definitely not dare to let go. To put it bluntly, he was just a guy who followed orders and never had too many thoughts of himself. This should be launching Uranus, which is very similar to the scene of launching Uranus recorded in the Great Kingdom. Luo Ning basically recognized what was going on in an instant. The other party activated Uranus, apparently intending to catch them all. The violent wind in the sky became more and more exaggerated, and a large number of tornadoes appeared around, and the terrifying thunder and lightning almost turned the surrounding into a field of lightning. And then they encountered a barrier to stop everyone and prevented them from leaving. The main ability of Uranus is to launch natural disasters. It also takes some time to kill a top powerhouse like a dragon. In order to prevent Long and others from escaping, this barrier appeared. The purpose is very simple, to kill everyone. Uranus. It's just used to deter miscellaneous soldiers. Things like Uranus are fatal to anyone or any force in this world, but Luo Ning doesn't care, this thing has no effect on him. A similar protective shield appeared above the revolutionary army's side, and no matter what the natural disasters were, they couldn't break through this protective shield at this moment. Since I like playing natural disasters so much, I'll let you have a try too. Luo Ning injected the fantasy road into the red line, and immediately after the central position of Mariajoy, an active volcano appeared directly, yes, this is a real volcano. It erupted directly in the center of Mariajoy, and this scene shocked everyone. But Luo Ning was extremely calm, since he wanted to play, he should have a good time with them. At this moment, I am is also confused, he launched Uranus, intending to kill the revolutionary army and Luo Ning, but he didn't kill him, instead, he blew up his own house, what kind of thing is this? In short, I am doesn't know what to do at this moment. The power of Uranus has been activated twice. The shield has consumed a lot, and if it continues to be consumed, then the power of the attack will be released. Volume will be greatly reduced. This is not the result he wants to see, although he can replace Uranus's reserve energy, but it will take time, and he doesn't want to waste energy. But now Luo Ning does not intend to let him go. Various disasters occurred inside Mariajoy, such as earthquakes, tornadoes, lightning, etc., and it was smoother than Uranus. All the insiders of the world government were bombed to pieces including five elders, but I am still didn't show up, and didn't care whether these guys were dead or alive. The high-level combat power inside the world government has been cleaned up. As for the outside, most of them no longer intend to help the world government. After all, they are planning to sacrifice them. In this case, they will never continue to help the world government unless they are second. Nuju Zhao 0106122215 Filu 121052570. Everyone inside who was protected by I am died, including those celestial dragons. Do you still want to hide? You actually use the energy of Uranus to create a protective shield for yourself. You are more cautious than anyone else, but you are the only one left in the world government now. Luo Ning directly pulled out I am who was hiding, and the opponent used the power of Uranus to protect himself, so he was not affected, but now he is just a light. Rod Commander, if you want the world government, take it directly. I can guarantee that I will not be your enemy. Let me go, I can give you a lot of treasure. I am opened his mouth, long since he lost his previous arrogance. After all, now Luo Ning can easily break the game by himself. May I ask how he still plays? Now you're subdued, I'm sorry you have no chance, no one will leave an enemy alone. Luo Ning is also a little funny, I am begging for mercy in the end, he should be very clear about it, in this case the two sides are already at the point of death, who will let it go? A threat to leave, so Luo Ning also directly killed I am with his hands. As for things like Uranus, Luo Ning destroyed them in front of the whole world, and it was useless to keep them. 
Have a meeting. After all, this is the life he is most looking forward to. It's just that the marine is too large, and when the crime rate drops to a certain level, it has to reduce its staff. After all, there are almost no big pirates in the sea, and those newcomers. After seeing Luo Ning coming back, the girls at home laughed. Although they have been watching the live broadcast all the time, now that Luo Ning is back, there is no problem. Luo Ning also laughed, he didn't have any intention of fighting for hegemony, he was so comfortable staying at home. In the next few months, the Revolutionary Army stabilized the situation on the sea, and directly recruited Marine, and now Marine has also become a purely crime-fighting organization. I don't dare to go to sea. This organization can't be so bloated, divided directly and fragmented, and gradually become a real peacekeeping organization. After the world stabilized, Luo Ning's wedding was also held as scheduled. For Luo Ning, traveling to the world of pirates, and then climbing directly to the peak, and finally being able to marry the one he likes. It's like a dream. Of course, Luo Ning is very satisfied now. Moreover, this thing will cause some ambitious people to compete for things, so it is better to get rid of this thing first. The big prison is also operating as usual. With the existence of the big prison, the pirates don't dare to mess around. After dealing with these, Luo Ning left. For this, Long and the others are also very grateful. Now they only need to stabilize the situation, and then pull all the countries together. Organization. After all, this is my home. The world government is over, and everything in this world has stabilized. Welcome back and red. Then the new world government will be handed over to you, let's go. This is the end of the book.